from brushing our teeth in the morning to going for bed in the night the whole day we are surrounded with many colorful items made of a wonder material plastic Parkson the first form of synthetic plastic was discovered long back in the 19th century with passing time this lightweight cheap and durable material emerged in many new forms of celluloid bakelite polyvinyl chloride thermosetting plastics nylon and fiber the whole world mesmerized by the magic of plastic open handed accepted plastic products later the beautiful dream turned to a nightmare as plastic turned out to be one of the biggest pollutants in the universe being non biodegradable plastic waste does not decay naturally and can stay for thousand years this waste has become a serious threat to environment the situation has become more terrible with ever growing demand of plastics which have resulted in continuous generation of plastic waste the harmful effect of this is visible today India produces 5.6 million metric tons of plastic annually with Delhi alone generating the most about 700 metric tons per year the ministry of environment forest and climate change government of india under its unique grant and aid scheme of development and promotion of clean technology and waste minimization strategies has been providing financial assistance to several clean technology projects for which primary research has been completed and are at a level of pilot scale demonstration evaluation of refuse derived fuel from waste plastics as engine fuel substitute is one such project in which an oil extraction plant has been set up in the premises of the Anna Malai University financed by the ministry this pilot plant fulfills a dual objective of generating alternate fuel and eco friendly way of disposing the waste plastics the ministry of environment forest has sanctioned 54 lakhs in this project for the duration of 3 years it is a basically interdisciplinary project there are two pollutants are there one is called waste plastics another one is called as a fly ash the conversion of plastic into oil is done in several steps plastic waste is brought to the crusher which crushes all kinds of waste plastics to pellets to produce oil These plastic pellets are obtained from discarded plastic materials such as milk and water sachets, pet bottles, containers of carbonated drinks, plastic chairs, etc. The plastics are then fed into the crusher which breaks the plastics into small pellets so that it can be easily fed into the melter. the melter melts the shredded plastics and the molten material is then sent to the reactor the reactor consists of heating coil pressure regulator temperature indicator and mechanical stirrer the reactor in the waste plastic oil extraction plant is utilized to mix the catalyst and plastic melts together to promote catalytic cracking In this plant fly ash is used as a catalyst to crack the waste plastics. The thermal cracking is uh, it need a very high temperature more than 500 degree to crack the plastic into useful oils. Uh, but uh, the catalytic cracking the temperature required is very very less is around 200 degree not more than that. Uh, the energy utilization for uh, thermal cracking is very high compared to the catalytic cracking. That's why we are adapting the catalytic cracking for this process. A reaction leads to generation of liquid and gaseous hydrocarbons as a desired product. The catalyst gives better yield under optimum conditions of temperature and flow rate. It is not a pyrolysis. The pyrolysis is entirely different phenomena. Just you heating anything uh, without any catalyst that's what you call pyrolysis. You can you can get oil by the pyrolysis process also. But the problem is you are getting more gas rather than uh, that oil 
fly ash obtained from the Neverly Ligonite Corporation had been found ideal as it had all the required properties such as silica 60%, alumina 13% and iron 15%. The condenser unit accumulates the vapor of the oil from the reactor and condenses it to derive oil which is collected in the collector tank. In this plant, temperature variance determines the quality and output of the oil produced. For instance, petrol could be obtained at 100 degrees Celsius and diesel at 150 degrees Celsius. Finally, the distillation unit is used for the separation of petrol, diesel and kerosene at different temperatures. In this process, 60% of diesel, 30% of petrol and 10% of kerosene and other hydrocarbons too are obtained. The derived waste plastic oil contains low sulfur content when compared to the normal petrol. As a result, because of low sulfur content, the environmental pollution is reduced. The low sulfur content also increases the life of the engine with other properties similar to normal diesel and petrol. Waste plastic derived oil is also cheaper cost-wise as compared to the normal petrol or diesel. Thus, bringing environmental and economic benefits, the project helps in solving the problem of environmental pollution caused by the generation of enormous amounts of plastic wastes and provide an alternative source of non-fossil fuel for automobile, agriculture and power generation sectors. With this initiative of the Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change, we foresee a neat and clean environment.